Hello. Stops being recorded. Could I see your license registration insurance? Where are you headed to today? Uh, my sister's in Idaho. I've just got off work and I've been driving since 2 o'clock today. Where'd you get off work at? So you just about killed me. Really? You ran me clear into the ditch. You were clear in my lane. I didn't mean to. Um, I was looking for a. You were, you were clear over all the way in my lane. Like, I, I had to go clear down in the ditch to avoid being hit I by you. I didn't mean to. I was falling asleep, and I was... How much alcohol have you had to drink tonight? None. No, you've, you've had some. I can smell it right now. That, no, that, that's not what it is. Um, but, um, 28 minutes from my sister's. Uh-huh. You, you almost died and killed a police officer, too. So, like, you're almost z not even going to get there. I didn't mean to. I was trying to find, like, somewhere to pull over. And... Can I check your eyes real quick? Okay, see the tip of this? Just follow it with your eyes. Don't move your head, okay? Yeah, but I have one right lazy eyes. Okay. Okay. So let's try again. You've had alcohol to drink tonight. Not in the last several hours, no. Or late, like, uh, no. Um, you can do whatever you want, but no, I'm 26 minutes away from my sister's. I'm just trying to get there. My. Can you shut your car off for me? Yes, but... Just shut it off. I'm not saying you're going anywhere. Hand me the keys real quick. Uh, no, just hand me the keys to your car. You know, I have to pull, pull them out of my car, my, my purse. Um. Oh, the keys are in your purse? They're not in the ignition? Oh, okay. That's fine. You can leave them in your purse. Don't start your car back up, okay? I'm not. Okay. Uh, Just stay right there, okay? I'll be right back. Dude, I was clear down in the ditch. What? She was clear in my lane. Almost touching the fog line in my lane. Can I uh, use your flashlight? Mine's dead. Of course. Okay, ma'am, can you hop out of the car for me? Oops. Yeah, sorry. First thing. Can I um roll the window down? Roll the window down or up? Down. It is oh. down. Sorry. Sorry, I was... <clears throat> Let's go back to the back of your car there. Just come back here. So you said you haven't had any alcohol to drink recently, right? Not since hours ago. I'm like 26 minutes from my sister's. Yeah, we she talked about that. She even said she'll just come here. Well, so right now, basically, I'm concerned that you've had too much to drink um, to drive, okay? You're driving. Terrible. I can smell strong odor of intoxicants coming from your breath, and by looking at your eyes, I can tell you've had some alcohol to drink. 
Can you please just let my sister come so. pick me up then? No, we're past that point, okay? When you try and kill, almost kill I'm a not. police officer, we're, I'm not gonna, no, we're not doing that, okay? What I'd like for you to do is just take some voluntary field sobriety tests so I can evaluate your ability to drive. Okay. I don't even need to drive. Like she's 20. No, but you did. Me. You were driving. I just want to make and sure you were sober. Over and she'll come here. It's and a yes or no answer. I'll do the, the field. Okay. Whatever. So first, I'm just asking that she you, come grab me and. Okay. I'll so leave my truck here. So basically, uh, you can stop the test at any time. Okay. First test, I'd like for you to do stand with your feet together, arms down to your side, and face me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take another look at your eyes. Okay, do you see the tip of this pen? I'm not. I don't see well in this ear. So. Okay, can you flip your hair up so you can see with your other eye? Do you wear contacts, glasses? glasses yeah. And you do wear glasses? Sometimes, yeah. Only are you required to wear them when you I'm drive? I'm only like nearsighted, not farsighted. Like, okay. Or however that works, like I can see farther, not close so up. So can you see that with your eyes? Yeah. It's All just, I, it, it's I don't need you my to. Eyes cross. It's not making them cross, okay? I just need you to follow it with your eyes, and not move your head, okay? Okay, next test I'd like for you to do is a walk and turn test, okay? For this test, what I want you to do is imagine a straight line facing towards my car, okay? I want you to go ahead and place your left foot on that line now, okay? Towards your car. Towards my car, okay? So left foot on that line. Take your right foot, place it in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe. Keep your arms down your side. Remain in this position until I tell you to start the test. Once I tell you to start the test, what I want you to do is take nine heel to toe steps down your imaginary line. It's going to look just like this. One, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. Once you get to your ninth step, keep your front foot planted, step out with your back foot, use it to take a series of small steps, turn and face the way you just came from, okay? And then I want you to take nine heel to toe steps back in that direction. One, two, so three. So go there and come back. Yep, nine forward, nine back, okay? Nope, don't start the test yet. Oh, okay, so right foot in front of your left foot. Arms down at your side. Okay. I want to caution you during this test. Make sure you look down at your feet. You count each step out loud. And once you start the test, don't stop the test until you've completed it. So yeah. nine steps and then back. Yes. Do you understand my instructions? Yes. Counting out loud. Okay. Go ahead and begin the test. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, nine steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten steps. Okay. So, next test I'd like for you to do is stand again with your feet together, your arms down at your side. That's the starting position for this test, okay? The next test is a one leg stand test. For this, I want you to take either foot of your choice. What's that? This, this test, even my doctors, I can't do. I, I know what you're going to ask me to do. Oh, you do? So you normally do the one leg stand have, test at no, your doctor's office? I know. How, I, I have no hearing in my right ear. So okay. Just, just, just affect your you. equilibrium? Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't. We can skip that test, okay? If I'm that's if it's that not going to no work. No matter what, I'm going to fill that part. Okay. I can try Give your PBT. It if you want. Um, Give your PBT. Or my hang, just hang tight for me. No, we could, we could get to that. When we get to that point, we yeah, we could obviously work with Please, you. Please, like, 
It's a nice truck. She's 20 minutes away. Yeah, your pup is? Yeah. No, my sister, I came here because she just had her baby on her couch. I've worked all day. Where were you working at? I work for a doctor and... Where at? Okay. Holy cow! So, what kind of doctor is it? A chiropractor. I'm oh, a those are therapist. You um, are? Yeah. And that's a that's a great profession. Okay, so last test again, voluntary test. It's a portable breath test. What it'll do is show me how much alcohol you've had to drink. Okay. It's not used in lieu of any evidentiary breath test. The last time this happened, though, the. Hey, you've been arrested for DUI before. Yeah, but they. Okay. I also had no memory and they found out I was roofied. I'm not saying tonight that's it. It's just that after that happened, they told me not to do anything. Who, who's they? Um, the judge and when I went to court about it because they did my blood test and found out it was roofied. So. Oh, okay. So do you want to take this test? Not, not really because I don't okay. want to go to jail again. Yeah. Uh, well, here's the deal. Right now, you are under arrest for DUI, okay? I need you to turn and place your hands behind your back. Can I please just... Nope, nope. Call my sister, please. No, you almost killed me. I know, but... Look, I have the dog... You almost killed yourself. You almost killed your dog. It's not my dog, but will you please let me call her so I can tell her? Yeah. So, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney during questioning. But if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you prior to questioning if you so desire. That's fine, but... You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not make any statements or answer any questions. Do you understand those rights? Yes. Okay. Can I please call her and tell her? You'll be able to call her when you get to the jail. Okay? What so... my dog, like... Sh so she can come get my dog, please. Listen, like, please, can I just, you can watch me call her, but can I please? And I'll take the test I, if you want. I don't need please. you to take any tests. Let's go to my car, okay? What about the dog? We'll figure it out in a second. Let's go have a seat in my car, okay? Okay, have a seat in there. I'm trying, it's not. I know, you're just super drunk, I understand. It's not, no, it's not. Yes, I'll go ahead, yeah, you are. Put your feet in, okay? Will you, will you please let me call my sister? She's 20 minutes away so she can get the dog. Please. You said it wasn't your dog. Well, it's my friend's dog, but I have it on the weekends. It's my dog, essentially, okay. so can I please call her? We'll figure that out, okay? Before they created a case, I wouldn't have a case, and they had already created a traffic offense. I told him you had one in custody. Thanks. Oh, oh. my God, dude. A miracle I had some shoulder. Because there was a semi, her, and me. Jeez. Wait, let me see if there's dust on your car. I wish the fucking semi would have stopped because he saw the whole thing. I mean, it's, she was right in front of him. You should have a junior go back and get pictures of uh, your tire tracks in the. No shit. The yeah. Car. I can go do that. Where's it at? Uh, well, let's deal with this first, but it's going to be about a mile back. Yeah. I so. I'll do whatever. Uh, can you go grab her cell phone? And. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do with her fucking dog. I can take it to her house or her sister's No, house. we'll just have her sister. See if her sister can come get it. Because her sister's somewhere in Idaho, and we don't have time to mess with that today. So. Yeah, I didn't hand out my drug referral, so that guy's going to be a lost cause. Oh, he's not going to get the help he needs? No. Uh -huh. He said he wasn't anyway, so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're good. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, puppy. Hey, Sergeant. Yeah. There's a bottle of Jim Beam right there. <laughs> Imagine that. Is it empty? <laughs> it's Jim Beam. There's a drop left. <laughs> you that thing dry. <laughs> Dude, I am so lucky to be alive right now. I am not happy. 
Okay, how do I call your sister? Um, Just hit like phone here? Yeah. Sierra. Right here, Sierra Curtis? Yeah. Okay. Can she at least come get the dog? Yeah, we'll figure it In out. In my truck or something. It can take me to jail, but please let her come get the dog in the truck. Wait, what? Sierra. Hello, is it Sierra? Uh, yes. Sierra, hey, um, the cops arrested me, so will you come get my dog in the truck, please? I'm 20 minutes from the house, your house. Okay, yeah, uh, let me wake up, Stuart. Sierra, this is Sergeant Jordan with the Sheriff's Office. Um, Hi. So her truck is on Highway 195, that's the highway between Colfax and Pullman. Are you okay. familiar with that? Uh, vaguely. Okay. It's Highway 195 and we're about milepost 32. So we're between Colfax and Pullman about halfway. Okay, um, I'm tracking her phone currently so I can just put it in my phone real quick to be able to get there. Okay, do that, because um, we're gonna leave here in a second. My partner's gonna stay on scene with the pickup. So just get the sh get where it's at right here, because her phone's gonna be going with her, obviously, to Colfax, which is, what do you about, understand? like, my medicine and... Okay, um... Am I gonna be able to get her out tomorrow, or? Mm, she sounds like she's at a previous DUI, so she won't be able to bail out until she sees a judge on Monday. There's no bail. I just, really? Yeah. Washington doesn't mess around with DUIs. So she just ran me off the road is why she got stopped. Okay. So she's had way too much to drink tonight. Okay. Um, let me wake my husband up and then I will be on my way. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Yep, bye. Can you um, walk with me so I can take my medicine for the night? Because I am on prescription medication that I'm supposed to take at night. What is it for? Um, PTSD. Now, um, unfortunately, I can't have you take any medications until I get through this process. But once you get booked into jail, they'll go through that with the jail doctor. Well, and last get time you the they medication. told me that this happened, that I was barely over because of the whatever, and they told me to go to the hospital. So. Okay. Well, um, I don't think you were roofied tonight since I you just got so off either, work. I don't think but I do. Like, I think I it might have had medication. something to do with the bottle of Jim Bean in your car. Well, yeah, there's a bunch of it in there. <laughs> that might be. There's, there's a bottle, not a bunch of it. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah, three. there's an there's empty three. bottle. Yeah, there's three so. in there. It doesn't mean I'd... Drink it tonight? You, or you drink of alcohol. Like, earlier, yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's, have, let's kick your feet in, okay? And uh, do you want to take your purse with you? Can I please? And yeah. And my phone, so when I... Yeah. Sure. Okay, I've got your so phone right now. I'm in jail until Monday? Yes. I have to take my medicine. I understand. But I can't, I'm not going to administer you medicine while you're in my custody. I'm not a doctor. I get that. So, okay. Yeah. So put your feet in there. Um, Where's your purse at? My front seat, my medication is both stuff? in my backpack yeah. okay. and my, uh, under my stereo. I haven't taken the pain meds they gave me because I've been bleeding out. So they gave me pain meds. I haven't touched that. That's totally full under my stereo. Mm -hmm. And then the other meds are in my bag. What are your pain meds for? I, I have, um, they just told me that I, I was probably dying. And, um, of what? Bleeding out. I've been in the hospital for a week. I just got out. Where are you bleeding out at? My stomach pancreas. In the hospital? And they kept me for several days, and then now I'm doing daily blood draws, and they have me on iron and. Where are they doing daily blood draws at? Because my blood's so low. Where are they doing it at? 
outpatient at the doctor's office at Lakefront in Longview. It's going to be kind of hard to get there tomorrow, right? Well, obviously, yeah. But they told me to just do it here. So I told them I was coming here, so they started me on new medications. Oh, okay. Um, but two of them, they couldn't fill in Longview because they were out, so they told me to fill it when I got to Idaho. Okay. And I'm going to put your phone in your purse. There's four bottles. Oh, okay. Her sister's on the way. Okay, I'll see you. That'd be awesome. Um, and if we get a... The keys are in here, actually. They're in there. It's just one key. It's just a key fob. Yeah, flashlight. Yeah. Uh, it's in there somewhere. No? No. That? That's it. Okay. Yeah. So that's a key. They're going to drive the car. Okay. Uh, and take the dog. So, okay. obviously, if we have calls, we'll have to. Go. What the hell what is, is that? Was, what oh, is that? Wait, 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 can you, like, oh, I know what's happening. Stop, just tell me. It's that thing. It's yeah. Like, it's hitting the button. Okay. It's my son's um, vape. So, you have to shut it off, or if you hit it, it's gonna. What? <laughs> it's, it, I, I don't know how it works, really. Uh, I see. think you, if you, I, I really don't know, just but leave I know it in if your you car. hit it. You don't need that in the jail. We'll... No, I don't need it. It's not mine, but, um... <laughs> just leave that in That's the car. my son's. But anyways, I don't know how it works. I just know if you hit it, it'll, it'll make that. Okay. Let's get, let's get in that car. Um... Your face itches. Just get in the car, please. I'm trying, um... How many times have you been arrested for DUI? Only once. Okay. Um, Put your feet in. Uh, did you grab... What about everything else I have? Well, I'm not, I can't take all your property into the jail, so... Okay. Yeah, but can't... Aren't you... If I ask, can't, aren't you supposed to take me to the hospital? Why do you need? What do you need to go to the hospital for? Same reason I just told you. Like that's what they told me before. You're okay. driving across the state. I think you're probably. You must have felt like you were okay. I today. don't. That's why I was coming here to like get. A, I literally, if you read my messages, I, I was trying to get away from the shit that I'm going through. Okay. Well, right now we're going to go through a, a DUI process. At that point, if you still feel like you need to go to the hospital, we'll work on that, okay? You look like you're okay to me at this point, medically. Okay? This is going to be fun. Do you need to that? Since that'll be more difficult than this? No, I'll, I'll do it. It's my, I caught it, I'll clean it. So, okay. that way... Because I, I, you've already had one difficult one tonight, dude, so. I think you did. I know. I'm fine. With, I mean, I'm you fine with it. All mine are I'm just glad I'm fucking still walking and talking, <laughs> Me dude. Too. Um, While I'm waiting for them, I rolled up the window so the dog can't get out. Okay. I'll turn on the flashers. I'll go down the road and see if I can see it real quick. Okay. Sounds. Thanks, dude. Okay. No, I, we already talked about that. I can't administer medicine to you. you. I know, but what am I supposed to do if I take it every day and I don't take it now? We're gonna, we, I told you, we'll call the jail doctor and they will decide whether or not it's something that you need to take mm -hmm. while you're in custody. Yes, he does, yeah. Yeah, she's on her way. Being wrapped to the jail with one. Proceed to the route. 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 Go ahead. You close up my drug. Actually, could you last the. Uh... Step 
so closely. For lots of foster, can you add that he's been given his first uh, drug referral? And then close it out before taking it. Stop, go pull my. Go ahead. Did fire check out at Rock Lake and do they still need law enforcement? They checked out there and they were busted that the call be put on hold for tomorrow so that way deputy and fire can go out and talk to the people when they are not intoxicated. Copy that. 153. So can you run a triple I on my subject? 153. What's that, ma'am? For what? I just asked where you were taking me to. To Colfax Jail. I mean jail, but I didn't know how to handle Yeah, Colfax. You'll be in until a judge hears your probable cause and determines what to do at that point. When that happens, usually is Monday, but I, I don't know. We'll talk about it when we get to the jail. I understand. That's why we'll talk about it when we're not driving. Whitman County Jail, Pullman. Nope. Be at the south end of town, Quagra female for the test, followed by booking. Step go Pullman and be out at the jail. County Jail, can I get the Sally Port? Have a seat over here. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. 
You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can decide to exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Okay. I have a lawyer. Do you call him? You have a lawyer? Yeah. Okay. Do you know your lawyer's phone number? Uh, his name's Dan Morgan. It's in my, if you pull it up, it's in Longview's name, Dan Morgan. Okay. It's in your phone? I can't remember if it's in my phone or not. Like, if I say his actual number, 3281. Like it's got to show my face, um, or hit three two eight one, three two. No, sorry, go back. Hit delete. Three. Three two. Eight one. Three two. And then, Dan. I'm not sure if it's in there. Hit up and search. Hit Dan Morgan. Like up. Oh. I don't see it. It's, I'm in the D's. There's oh. no Dan Morgan. Then you can look him up. He's in Longview. Um, Do you know how many Dan Morgans there's going to be in Longview? Well, he has his own firm. Like, it's Morgan something. Do you think his firm's open right now? You can try. You can call him. Okay. Please sit down. I was just looking to see if it was under another name. You can see what I'm doing. No, I didn't tell you you could use your phone. I'm not trying to use it. I was just trying to see if I could find it. What do you, what do you call what you're doing right now? No, I was You cannot to listen to directions. Was... What would you like me to look at? I was just trying to see if it was under a, diff like under a different, other than Dan. I've looked at all the Ds. I know. I was trying to see if There's it was under There's Dad, Morgan, Danny, or... David. But look, I, I didn't go off anything other than my contacts. I was just trying to see if it was under some other name. Pretty sure he's the only Dan Morgan in Longview, Washington, though. Yeah. Do you think there's only one Dan Morgan in Longview? Yes. He has a dad and dad retired. Okay. Well, we'll find out, right? Yes. Do you know the name of his law office? It's Morgan and something. Morgan and Morgan. But I think when his dad retired to Morgan and something else, but Dan was his dad, 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 his dad,
What's your password on your phone again? 3281 Who are you calling? You're the person you wanted to talk to? Dan? Dan Morgan. Is it ringing? No. Okay. You're not on service here. Is it here. my service? Or? Yeah. Let me try. Your phone has no service. What are you doing? I looked at the number and your messages? Stop. I'm not. I've, look. You were. I watched you clicked on your messages. On accident, like habit, like, but I accidentally just called that number back. Just the answering machine up for your attorney. Do you want to talk to a public defender? No? Huh? I can't, I, I called him, it just is a message. He's probably, my guess is he's sleeping. I can put you in touch with a public defender if you'd like. No? Are you sure? Okay. Okay, have a seat for me. So, uh, the next statement I've read or have had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights and I understand these rights. Do you understand those rights I've read to you? Okay. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is just check your mouth real quick. Can you open your mouth for me? Stick your tongue out. Okay. Okay, so this says, this is your implied consent warnings for breath. Warning you're under arrest for RCW 4661502 or RCW 4661504. Driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. Further, you're now being asked to submit to a test of your breath, which consists of two separate samples of your breath taken independently to determine alcohol concentration. You are now advised that you have the right to refuse the breath test and that if you refuse, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year. And your refusal to submit to this test may be used in a criminal trial. You are further advised that if you submit to the breath test and the test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days if you are age 21 or over, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0.08 or more, or you're in violation of RCW 
46-61-502, driving under the influence, or RCW 46-61-504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence. Or you're under age 21, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0 0.02 or more, or you're in violation of RCW 46-61-502, driving under the influence, or RCW 46-61-504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence. If your driver's license permit or privilege to drive is suspended, revoked, or denied, you may be eligible to immediately apply for ignition interlock driver's license. You have the right to additional tests administered by any qualified person of your own choosing. For those not driving a commercial motor vehicle at the time of arrest, if your driver's license is suspended or revoked, your commercial driver's license, if any, will be disqualified. For those driving a commercial motor vehicle at the time of arrest, if you either A, refuse this test, or B, submit to the test, and the test indicates an alcohol concentration of 0 0.04 or more, you will be disqualified by the Department of Licensing from driving a commercial motor vehicle. And I signed here saying I read those statements to you. I'm just gonna write that you're handcuffed. Do you agree that I read those statements to you? Yes. Okay. Will you now submit to a breath test? No. Okay. Are you confused about any of this? No, but Dan told me not to do it again. Not to do it if you got arrested for DUI? Okay. So you don't, you're not confused about the you warning, so. I'm going to go to the hospital, which I actually legit just got out of the hospital and I have cancer and. So you're not confused about any of these warnings, right? I'm going to die anyway. So it's Are you, con I'm asking you if no. you're confused about these. Okay. okay. You did tell me that because of what's going on with me that I had the right to go to the hospital instead. Is he a doctor? Is okay. my lawyer okay. told me that my, he knows that I've been bleeding out. You can pull up my labs. I, my blood count is like 45% low, I think is what they said. I understand, but you got to understand where I'm coming from. You're I driving did. across the state drunk, so you obviously feel like you don't need to go to the hospital when you're doing that. Or you would be in no, the hospital instead the of hospital. driving across the I state. I don't want to be in the hospital. Yeah. So if you don't want to be, then. But it doesn't mean that. So do you have any physical impairments? I don't know what you mean by that. Like, Are you physically impaired at all? I'm sick right now. Sick, okay. Do you limp? No. Are you sick or injured? Yes. What are you sick with? Uh, you pull it up. Are you diabetic or epileptic? Do you take insulin? Have you taken any medicines or drugs in the past 24 hours? Uh, I didn't take my pen meds today. Like, any non-prescription medication? No. The only prescription med I had was... Okay. How many did you take this morning? Any cocaine? No. Marijuana? No. Do you have impaired vision? Well, I, let me backtrack. I don't see great close up. Uh, the closer you are, it's harder for me to see, but farther away, it's fine. Have you been diagnosed with nearsightedness mm -hmm. through your eye doctor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you wear corrective lenses mm -hmm. to drive? No. Not okay. to drive because I can see farther away. So it's just for just, reading? Uh, for close, it's harder for me to see. Okay. Uh, were you wearing the glasses when you were stopped? No, I, I didn't need them. Okay. Where do you work at? Did you work today? No. I'm off work because I... My doctor's telling me that I, I'm 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? An hour maybe. One hour? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Were you driving the vehicle today? Yeah. Anything mechanically wrong with your car? Uh, it has the traction control light on it. Um, and it's making it pull to the right really hard, but otherwise, no. Dan Morgan, my lawyer, is also working on my truck right now. He's working on a what? He's, he, I got hit last year um, on my driver's side door by a lady that ran a red light and she broke my arm and a bunch of stuff and it's apparently messed up my truck. Um, so now the light's on. Lush Fox is saying the light's going to stay on for the track control. So they said I could drive it, but my control arm will Breaking, so, I mean. Okay. Have you been injured or involved in any collisions in the past 24 hours? No. Have you had any alcohol to drink since I stopped you? Where were you going before I stopped you? Just my sister's. Name. Just wanted. Without looking, what time do you think it is? 11.30, Do you know what street or highway you were on? Uh, I don't know what this road is called. I drive it all the time. I know I'm outside of Colfax. Um, I go through Pullman, then into Moscow. I don't know the name of the road. Okay, I that's understandable. Know. You're not from here, so. No, it's just, I make the drive all the time. So. Yeah, it's SR-195. I realize that you kind of hate me at the moment, but. I don't hate you. Yeah, you do. I'm just glad I'm alive, so. Sorry, man. I wish you would fess up. I wish you'd own up to your mistakes. I do, I. Well, the, you're telling me you're not drunk, and that's absolutely ridiculous, so. But that's that's your choice. You can live with that. Um, do you know what direction you were traveling? What do you mean direction? North, south, east, west. The south? Yeah. Today where I come from, I don't know. Yep. Where'd you start from today? Longview. What time did you leave Longview? Do you know what day of the week it is? It's Friday the uh, I'm sorry, I'm bad with dates. Thirtieth. Uh, okay. I, I know the fourth is coming this Sunday or Monday. So the thirtieth of what month? June. Do you know what year? Twenty twenty one. Do you know what city you're in right now? Do you know what county you're in? No. Have you been drinking alcoholic beverages today? Oh, yeah. What were you drinking? Uh, my son had beer. I took a couple shots with him. A beer? No, he had beer and then he and I took a couple shots and I brought the rest with me and I left from my time on my way to my sister's house. So you had a couple shots with your son then you just drank on the way to your sister's house? No, before I left I did and then I drove after I left and then And then what? All I want to do is go to her house and sleep. I understand. But if you expect me to believe that the last time you drank was in Longview, I've been doing this job for a long time, okay? I have arrested hundreds of people for DUIs. Already, so. I can promise you that you were drinking on your way. It doesn't matter. My whole life is over now. At least we're not dead. 
right? It doesn't matter. It does to I me. Have, I have a five-year-old I need to go home to. I'm going to lose my son. Die? I, I, I am I sorry that you're good. going through some medical issues and that nobody deserves cancer. It's the worst thing. It's no excuse to be drinking and driving. I get it. I can't, I can't fix it. And now I, I really can You can can't. be honest about it, though. It doesn't change anything. What? All I wanted was to just go to my sister's and sleep because I haven't slept in days. <coughs> oh, my son. My other sister's in Japan. I can't tell my oldest son. I understand that, but when when your kids mess up, do you expect them to be honest about their mistakes? Do you want like to hurt your kids? I, I asked you a question first, though, and then I'll answer yours. When your kids mess up, do you expect them to be honest about their mistakes? Okay. I don't know what it's like to hurt your kids. I... So that's what I'm asking you is just be honest about how much you've had to drink. What, what do you want me to do? I, I'm I want you to up. be honest. I'm screwed up at the moment. Like, I just got told what's going to happen. I'm sorry. I really am. But what I t you asked me what I want you to do. I just want you to be honest. Why does it change? You're going to put me in jail? I'm going to have to see me. No matter what I say. Do, would you, uh, do you want to go in front of the judge as a liar or somebody who is honest about their mistake? I want to not hurt my kids more than I already planned. Wouldn't you want your kids to see that you were honest with your mistakes? Or do they want your kids to see that you lied? Really? You don't want your kids to see you? Not now. Okay. So you're going to stick to just a couple shots of alcohol before you left? What do you want me to say? The truth. Even if I talk to you, you're gonna still hate me. You're I don't still hate you. Arrest me. You're still gonna do the same Just because I arrested you doesn't mean I hate you. But I got I a job do. to do. And my kids will hate me. My ex husband will hate me. It won't change anything. And okay. I haven't. Um, what time did you start drinking? Um, three. Three o'clock. Okay. Who were you drinking with? Your son? My oldest, yeah, he's 21. And where were you drinking at? My house. Uh, so you were drinking shots of alcohol. How many shots do you think you had? I have no idea. Honestly. Okay. You want me to be honest? I, I, I do. No, that's fair enough. Did you have a bottle of alcohol? No, not, not that much. Half a bottle? And I will tell you, and you can look it up in my charts. I am on, like bunch of, um, like I said. So everything is affecting me harder than normal. Well, and so drinking alcohol thins out your blood too, so it's probably it makes it, out worse. I, I was hurting. Like, I understand. No, you don't. Like, 
My kid's dad was murdered three years ago, and now I have to tell my I'm going to die. Like, no, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. I get it. You think of me as every other piece of shit that comes in here, but no. All I was trying to do was just go to my sister's and sleep for a couple of days. That's it. So. Well, I don't think it'd be that way. I can tell you that, okay? Yeah. What time do you think you had your last drink? Uh, I would say, like, Well, a few hours ago, like, once I started driving, I legit didn't do any, I didn't take my pain meds. I didn't no, I do. Look, I, I, I believe you've just had alcohol. So. Once I started driving, I didn't touch anything. Like, okay. Um, do you believe your ability to drive was affected by your alcohol and or drug usage? I think it was more effective just I scratch my face somehow like in just a second, yeah. <laughs> um so again, do you believe your ability to drive was affected I, by your alcohol and or drug usage? I don't not on any drugs. You can okay. Do you believe that. your ability to drive was affected by your alcohol usage? No, I I think that when I ran you off the road or whatever, it was, I was tired. I don't even think it was even that that affected me. I think I, I haven't slept in so many days that. And I was texting my sister, yes, and I was texting while I was driving, but I was texting her telling her she was following my locations. And I was telling her I was like 20 some minutes away and she said, I see that you're coming through full facts and I said, I'm almost there. And she said, your bed's ready. And then I texted her and I said, I think I'm getting pulled over. And that was it. I, I okay. We talked to her, so she knows. Um, have you ever been arrested for DUI before? Yes, but it got dropped because they found the other stuff in my system. It looks like it got reduced down to uh, reckless driving. Okay. How many times have you been arrested for DUI? Just that one time. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll take the handcuffs off you. So at this point, you don't want to do the breath test, right? You said no. No, my lawyer told me, can I please, like, just. Before I take the handcuffs just, off, I just need a yes or no. I, no. You don't want to. Okay, I'll take the handcuffs off. He, he told me the next time to go to the hospital. Why? I just need to check my face. Go to the hospital for what? Just to check my face. Okay. Because they said that I was going to have to take my off. What did he say to go to the hospital for? Well, I gotta have a reason to, that he wants you to go to the hospital. Like, I can't just say, you can't just go to the hospital. That's I not get, what happens. I get that. But if you, I won't touch my phone if you want to pull I, up. I believe you on that stuff. I believe you. I really am. I, Here's the problem. I have, I have tried to. You made the choice not to be in the hospital right now. So it's obviously not that important for you to be in the hospital. You can't just go to the hospital now that you're going to jail. That's not I'm it. I'm not trying to go to the hospital. I was never trying to. I was trying to just. You know what I mean? So at some point you decided I am well enough. I don't need to be in the hospital anymore or I choose not to be in the hospital anymore. Right. But now all of a sudden you want to go to the hospital. Right. What is the hospital going to do right now? Check my blood, I guess they can check it. Uh, pull up my phone. I'll show you. I'm not going to look at your phone. I trust you. I believe you that you have some problems going no, on. No, I am bleeding out like I'm. So if I left town, my, I told my doctor I would get left in Idaho while I got there, which is where my sister was. Is. Mm -hmm. So I was supposed to get the last Okay. Well, hang tight. I got I'm going to talk to the jail staff and see what they want to do. Hey, it's Jordan. Um 
So, do you guys have a sergeant on right now? Um, can I talk to a sharp? Just have him come in here, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, man. Bye. Okay, so, um, because you refuse the, refuse the breath test, the Department of Licensing, their intention is to suspend your driver's license for a year, okay? So I'll probably um. provide you with some paperwork. When you're arrested for DUI, there's kind of two different courts. The first court is the criminal court where you see the judge and you can go to jail and things like that. That's the court you have to go to in it. There's also a uh, additional civil court to try and keep your driver's license. It's not a court you have to attend, um, but you have the right to if you want to. To attend it, there's a $375 non-refundable fee, um, and you need to make this request within seven days of the date of arrest, okay? So basically, it sounds like you already have an attorney that helps you out with all this stuff, Mr. Morgan, is that right? To talk, Mr. Morgan will be able to provide you with all of his advice on what to do as far as the DOL hearing goes, okay? but I am going to provide you with the paperwork for that, okay? So, if you could sign here, by signing here it says, notice of right to hearing. I've been given written notice of my right to a hearing, including the steps required to obtain a hearing, and I understand that the notice of suspension, revocation, or denial of license will be mailed to the address of record on file with the Department of Licensing, okay? Just sign right there. And the date is the 3rd of July, 7-3-21. Thank you. So I'm just going to do a little bit of paperwork until the corrections guy comes down. We'll talk about your medical condition and see what they want to do at this point. What's up, my man? Uh, so I'm done with her. Okay. Um, my intent is to book her. It's her second DUI, so no bail. All right. um, she says that she has medical conditions where she's bleeding out internally. She was at the hospital and seen for it and left the hospital. Okay. So that's up to you guys what you want to do at this point. All right. um, and what did they tell you at the hospital? I have to do daily labs. I can pull it up. No, you don't need to pull it up on your phone. What do you mean daily labs? Like? They're checking my blood every day. St. John's. St. John's. In Longview, Washington. Yeah, she's also traveled across the state. Okay, what time was your appointment today? Uh, it's been every day. So today it was just labs and results. Right. Like, it wasn't like an appointment. It was just like a walk in. Um, right, but well, around what time was that? Uh, I don't know, two or three. Two or three, okay. And then you drove over here. So what was your plan to, uh, for labs when you were over here? What hospital were you going to go to? They just told me to get, when I got here, to call back and then um, to check in and how long I was here and either go to like urgent care or with their hospital here and have labs. Okay. It, it was up to my doctor. I don't know. And I can show you. Like, I can pull it up. No, that's fine. Uh, okay. So if I had a medical release form, would you be okay to sign that so we can get that information from that doctor? Yes. So we can go forward with that? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm okay with booking her. Okay. Um, we'll just have her fill up a medical release and get Yeah. Done. And at the same I mean, if you, weren't, if you weren't comfortable without me taking her up, I can, we can do that too. So, but I think, I mean, she made the choice to travel clear across Washington away from her hospital. She's obviously not too worried about 
that stuff. So, um, so that's what he's going to do is he's going to have you sign a medical release. We'll get your doctor's uh, information from your hospital, which our jail doctor will look at that and determine what the best course of care for you will be in the jail. Okay. So we're still going to take care of you. Don't get me wrong. We want you to get the care you need. We just need to get the proper documentation to show our jail doctor. Make sense? Okay. And what's, and what's your name? Heather Bryan. Heather Bryan. Do you want her license? Uh, no. Okay. Reason, reason being the whole Is there a okay. way to find out if my sister got my dog and truck? Yeah, so once you're booked in, you'll be able to call your sister once you're booked into jail, okay? I just, that's the only thing I want to do is make sure she got everything. And again, we had that other deputy stay on scene with your dog and your truck until she got there. So we know your stuff's safe, okay? Well, it's, just, it's a dog that I, I don't want him left, so I want he, to make sure He won't he leave him. No, stay. It's a cute dog. He's amazing. He's like the only thing helping me. Yeah. I am done. Then you're fine. You don't have to wait in here. I'll okay, I'll work on. I should have a booking sheet pretty quick. So okay. she refused their most stuff. So.